Hello everybody! Today for Sunday Fun Day we're going to see how I draw an underwear wolf. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description. You'll find a link that you can click on. It will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. And yes, a very quick sketch because there's not a lot that I need to do for this one. That's not gonna happen with, well, that's not gonna be taken care of by the Sharpie. Yes, 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 I'm making sure I had that sentence right. Um, so basically what I'm trying to say is the Sharpie's gonna take care of all the detail, so I'm not too worried about, because it's fur, you know, a lot of fur and stuff like that. I just gotta get the positioning right, and then we can get going, but, uh, Okay, so also, the, the idea behind this one, I just thought it made me laugh. Uh, because, I was like, well, okay, if it's, if, if he's an underwear wolf, it's werewolf and underwear, that's it, that's it. I just want to be funny and say something like that. So, that's the whole idea. Uh, it's, it's an excuse to make a werewolf is all it really is, you know? <laughs> so, so yeah, and, and it's going to be a lot of fur and, and, and silliness, so... Like I said, I just gotta pretty much get the basics, and then uh, the detail will come out in the Sharpie portion. Oh, and you know what? I'm gonna draw a tail. I forgot about that, because nobody ever draws a tail on a werewolf. You ever think about that? Everybody always tries to get real about this is what it is, and it looks like that, and it's growing out of this. But no one ever draws a tail. Why not? And I'm gonna do more of a human-faced werewolf. Almost kind of like the Wolfman. Uh, so, it's not gonna be a wolf face. Kind of. I mean, I guess obviously it is if it's some kind of werewolf. But, uh, I'm not drawing a big giant wolf snout is what I'm trying to say. Okay, but yeah, it's just a, an excuse to draw a werewolf is all it really is. So there you go, I think that'll work. So, yeah, I say... Yeah, let's just jump over to Sharpie because, like I said, the, the basics are what I needed to do is just make sure I had the placement right, that I'm not falling off the page and stuff like that. So, let me erase some of these sketches real fast. Not the whole thing, because it worked out and the sketch, like I said, just basically placed it and I don't want to ruin that, but I want my Sharpie to stand out and not my pencil line, so that's why I do this. You're more than welcome to just continue drawing with a pencil but I just wanted to get my placement down and let my pencil, my, sorry, my Sharpie stand out. Okay, so I say we welcome everybody to Skip and get going. Welcome Skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly a fine point, but the pen's a little finer than a fine point and can find things that a fine point can't quite find. That's supposed to be a bigger production whenever I knock that out of the way and make a huge, loud, crashing noise. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to start off. I've erased uh, most of my pencil lines, and I'm going to start off with the Sharpie pen just because I can control the line width much better, and I want to do some fine details into the face and go from there. So I'm going to draw some eyes, some big old snarly wolf eyes, but human eyes too. And normally I don't draw the bottom part of the eye because it's so tiny, but we're so, this is a lot bigger than the normal size that I do because normally I'm trying to fit within here, a person standing. Now I'm doing a little wolf that's all hunched over. I can actually draw more detail. So let's give them some pupils. I'm sorry, retinas, that's the color part. Then the pupils. And the rest I'll do with color. 
So let's give him some big old bushy eyebrows, some big old furry wolfman eyebrows. And I should do a lot of this with color too, but I'm just explaining why. Some of this I'm gonna do with Sharpie. But fur and stuff like that, I mean, it should be mostly color, you know? Let's give him like a wolf nose. But I also talked about, oh, you know what? No, never mind. I was gonna say, I talked about this in the sketch and talked talk about stuff, but never mind. If you wanna see it, go to the sketch portion. I'm not gonna repeat myself for those who did stick around and uh, and repeat it for them. Okay, so I'm gonna draw his mouth. And I'm not gonna draw the entire thing with this. I'm gonna do it with a, the Sharpie fine point, but for the smaller details, I did want to add the, uh, or uh, tackle it with the, the Sharpie uh, pen. Right, and I'm giving him like not all canine teeth, you know, I'm doing some human teeth in here. Because, you know, it is it is a half person, you know. But more than anything, it was just an excuse to draw a werewolf. That's really all it was. But I do want to take care of the edges. Now, um, I uh, mostly switch over to this, but I did want to do some some hairlines here. What I really like is the like the dark edges like that to define a few things. All right, uh, I need to work back to the top, but since I'm down here, let's go ahead and just add some some fur. And I'm starting to thicken up some of this because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're going to see a huge difference in line width. So I'm preparing for what's about to happen. You don't have to. You know, you do what you want. But uh, I just want to explain to you why I'm getting a little darker in some spots and not in others. Okay, so let's just keep going. And so here's the trick is, I guess I'm gonna switch over now is to show you exactly what I'm talking about is, uh, you know, at some point we have to start drawing fur with a big, huge Sharpie. Like, you know what, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna get another Sharpie. So break. didn't even notice because I edited it out but I want to get a new Sharpie because I was getting old anyway and uh, I want to start here but what I was talking about is fur and Sharpies unless you're gonna use this kind of doesn't work so I'm just gonna kind of draw a few lines and then just kind of build off of this so like I said I'm not gonna draw all the fur just whips like that just kind of showing that it's it's a it's a uh, it's a uh, it's an edge that's not skin, you know. So something like that, little human man, little little uh, furry guy, and and that's kind of the nice thing is that you know, a this is what we want to do because again, this is how I draw, and uh, you know, no one can say we're wrong because it's not like hey, that's not how you draw a wolf, werewolf man because we're making it up ourselves. You know, this is 100% what we want to do. Okay, so I'm basically drawing a human shape, but with fur. So I'm gonna do stuff like that. Just kind of, you know, just draw little jagged edges to uh, human anatomy. So I'm gonna draw his arm down like this. Here's his 
Brussels forearm. And let me draw uh, the other side so you can see where we are too. So there's his chest. And I'll go ahead and draw all the way down to the underwear. Again, so you see how he's kind of hunched over and you see the proportions of what we're doing. Now, I had some smaller detail too, but for the most part, we're just kind of doing this. Just kind of pretending it's fur, you know? There's his forearm. And this hand, I'm gonna do something like this. So this is where it's gonna get a little challenging to get creative. So let's see, I'm gonna draw thumb like this. I'm gonna bring it in. So it's kind of foreshortened on itself like that. So we're gonna do the same thing with the fingers. I'm gonna foreshorten them, give them claws. Foreshorten, claw, claw. And then this one, we're just gonna kind of stick out. So it's kind of, kind of like this, okay? Let me, let me add some detail to kind of uh, uh, smooth it out, so to speak. Even though we don't want it smooth, right? I mean, it's fur. But I do kind of want to establish a few lines. So there, see the, even the thumb, because of the nail, it, it's bent like that, you can't really see uh, the, um, the nail because of the, the, the position. And there we go. Color will, will help with this too because it will uh, define uh, what's behind and what's what's in front. So here, since we're here, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a little bit of housekeeping. We're gonna do just some fur like this. Like I said, I can't really draw it all. I can, but I'm not gonna sit here and draw every little hair. I'm just kind of playing around with little lines like that, and then color is gonna take care of a lot of it. All right, so same thing over here. We're just gonna work our way down. So just kind of down to the hand. And this one I'm gonna do kind of like this. So, down to the hand and then I'm going to bring it in. Stick the thumb in like this. And this one you can see the nail because we're working with the side. And so I'm going to kind of, kind of over exaggerate Oops, that way. Go over exaggerate the, the hand because it's kind of, I've got it extended like this, so it's gonna look a little, a little out, okay? So we'll say the other fingers are kind of behind it. And again, the pinky, we're gonna really really stick behind like that so it's almost like way floating away from the fingers like this just to just to give it more of a, a crazier position so yeah there you go in so many words we're drawing like this but we're drawing it at a side like that that's kind of the idea okay so same thing just a little bit of fur And so little stuff like this, I just like to do just to kind of show it's it's a furry hand. But again, I want to do more with color, but I want to throw in a little something, you know? So unless you're going to draw every single hair, which I'm not going to, I just like doing little stuff like this just to kind of accent that it's a fuzzy, <laughs> it's a, it's a fuzzy underwear wearing wolfman. All right, so now underwear. <laughs> All right, and so I've got just basically that. We're just going to draw the edge because all the fur is going to come out from it, All right? So let's draw a little bit of like a like a front. Let's give them a band. Little whitey tighties. Um, let's see, and so 
we can draw like a little edge like this. We'll do this one over here. Draw this little tucked in part right there. And there you go. A little bit of, of whitey tighty. Like that. All right. The official underwear wolf is done. <laughs> well, he's officially he's wearing underwear, so I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, so again, we're going to draw uh, um, fur. Fur, furred anatomy, basically, is what we're drawing. And I like it. I like it really ex pushed out because, like, his he's furry, but the underwear is, is pulling it in. Now, before I forget, and now that I've established an edge, I'm going to draw his tail. There we go. And again, just a little bit of, of, of uh, line detail. But again, I want to do more with color, so I'm not too worried about that. like doing little stuff like this just to kind of show that the stress that the underwear is putting on the fur and it kind of makes it look all, all, all pushed in you know all bunged in and, and see I'm just making it up I'm just drawing little lines like as if it was fur so don't worry about you know getting specifically those lines okay so now we're gonna play around with like a wolf leg so we're gonna come down here tuck it back like this come down and we're just gonna add some feet something like that do the same thing on the other side Again, just add just a little bit of of, of uh, furry fun. And there you go. So I say we take care of the rest with color. So for Sunday fun day, that is an underwear wolf. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.